Hello friends. In the last video, we saw the if function and we also compared that if function with the nested if concept. If you have not seen this video, then the link is available on the top of this video. Please check out this uh, video. In this video, I'll be comparing the nested if concept with the ifs function, ifs ifs function. So let us see that which is better, whether nested if is better or whether ifs function is better. So let us start with the practical part. So here in this particular sheet, First of all, I've written here what is ifs function. So the ifs function in Microsoft Excel is a logical function that allows you to test multiple conditions in a cleaner and more readable way than nested if statements. Now, this is important that uh, when I use the ifs function and when I use the nested if concept, then according to this statement, ifs function is much, much better. And that we'll also see practically that how it is better. So it is also used for the testing of the multiple conditions. That is what we have seen in the previous video that we have used the nested if to test the multiple conditions. But the important part here, it is that if function, it is written in a much cleaner and more readable way than the nested if statements. It was introduced in Excel 2016. So it's a very old function and it is available in all the later versions. Now, what is the syntax over here? The syntax of if function is this that equal to ifs bracket condition one comma result one condition two comma result two and so on. Yeah, so we have to put one condition. If the condition is fulfilling, then we give some result. We, then we check the another condition. If the condition is fulfilled, then we show the result two and so on. Excel checks each condition in order. So you start from here and it goes till the end. When it finds the first true condition, it returns the corresponding result. Suppose if this condition one is fulfilling, then immediately it will give you the result one. If this condition one is not fulfilling, then it will go to the condition two. If the condition two is fulfilling, then it will show you the result two and so on. If none of the conditions are true, Excel returns an A error unless you add a true as the last condition. Now this also we'll see practically that what is this true and why we are putting the true over here. But normally it says here that if none of the conditions are true, it is possible some of the case you may not have all the conditions fulfilled. In that case, Excel will by default return an error that is not available error, but we can remove this not available error by writing the true statement. So that we'll see further. Now here I have taken the same example which I took in the previous video. Here we are having the marks of a student for various subjects. And now here I have to write down the result. Now these are the four conditions that I have to use. So if the marks are less than 40, then it should be fail. If the marks are greater than 40, or you can say that if the marks are greater than equal to 40, then you should get the result pass. If the marks are greater than equal to 60, then it should be first class. If the marks are greater than equal to 70, then it should give you the result distinction. Now here I'll not be writing the nested if thing because nested if I have already explained in the previous video. So please check out that video. The link is available on the top of this video. So if I go to this nested if here, this previous example, then let me double click this cell here. So see, this is how I have written the nested if. Nested if is a concept, it's not a function. So equal to if, yeah, and here I have to check whether this cell that is B17, whether it is greater than or equal to 70, then it should be distinction. If this condition is not fulfilled, then I have to check another if condition, whether B17 marks are greater than or equal to 60. If it is true, then it should give you the result first class. If this is not true, then it should go to the third condition. Then I have to check whether B17 is greater than or equal to 40. If yes, then it should show you the result pass. And if this condition is not fulfilled, then it should show you the condition fail. Yeah. So this is what we mean by the nested if. Now see nested if is a little bit complex to write down. Okay, we have to understand the logic and then we can write down this nested if. So sometimes it's not easy for the person who is just starting with this nested if concept. So this is the nested if concept here. Now let us go to our next sheet. Now we are having the same thing, but in this cell that is C9, now I'll be using the ifs function. And then we'll see that whether if function is better or the nested if concept is better. So here in this cell, I write down equal to ifs. Okay, ifs is a function equal to ifs, press tab. Now in the if function, I have to first of all write down the logical test. So I have to check here whether this B9, it is greater than equal to what? It is greater than equal to, let's say I start with 70, comma. If it is greater than equal to 70, then it should give me the result distinction. 
now again i have to check this condition b9 now the logical test 2 so b9 if it is greater than equal to 60 then it should give me the result what first class comma again i have to select the cell b9 and i have to check the condition whether b9 is greater than equal to 40 comma if it is greater than equal to 40 then it should give me the result here pass comma now here i've taken all the three conditions now what is the last condition over here that whether the marks are less than 40. now see here after this pass if i write down here directly fail in double quote bracket complete press enter you see we are getting here the error you have entered too few arguments for this function so i cannot directly type here fail because see as such the logic says like this that okay if the marks are greater than 70 then distinction if the marks are greater than 60 then it should give you the first class if the marks are greater than 40 then it should be pass but now here i have to again write down the fourth condition very specifically so i have to select here b9 whether b9 is less than 40 comma then it should give me the result fail press enter and now you see here we are getting this distinction i drag it down and now here we are getting the result the same result what we got with the nested but if you check this formula and when you compare this if function formula with the nested if concept then you see that here it is much much easier to write down okay i don't have to think that okay i have to write down another if function put the bracket another if function put the bracket i have to simply just as we speak accordingly we type over here now one more thing what i can do here that suppose if i don't want to write down this last logical test so i remove this b9 less than 40 suppose if i don't write down here anything i just keep it here pass i have not written here fail now i press enter so see as such it is perfect okay 85 it is distinction let me drag the formula down now you see here the problem 35 now see 35 is less than 40 but here in this formula of if function i have not mentioned anything about the fail i have just mentioned distinction first class and pass here we are getting the correct result but here we are getting that error not available so now if i don't want to see this error yeah that is now we are coming to this point here the last point if none of the conditions are true excel returns na error so this is what has happened over here that here this 35 is not greater than 60 it is not greater than 70 it is not greater than 40 so it is not fulfilling any of the condition that's why it is giving us this error na but now if i don't want to see this error i modify this formula again double click and now here after pass i put comma and now i write down here true comma and after true i put here double quote fail so see here i could have also written b9 less than 40 but instead of writing b9 less than 40 i can also write down here the last condition or the last logical test as true comma fail now i press enter and now let me drag the formula down and now you see here we are getting the answer fail now we are not getting here na we are getting here the answer fail this is what is also mentioned here the if function check each condition in order if none of the conditions are true excel returns a an error to avoid this error and provide a default result we write true as the final condition finally here i have given you the comparison between the if function and the if function so if that is especially i am talking about the nested if so nested if is harder to read but the if function it easier to read nested if can get complex because i have to take care of a lot of brackets and all those things that we have seen in the earlier example but if function is ideal for multiple conditions so i would suggest you that whenever you are having multiple conditions don't use nested if you use the ifs function that is much much better it is easy to understand easy to write also the nested if is supported in all versions of excel while if function is now available from excel 2016 so definitely this you don't have to worry but overall i can say that if function is much much better than the nested if concept it is easier to read easier to write and easier to understand now in the next video i'll be talking about the differences between the nested if concept and the switch function we will see that what is this switch function and how it is useful in the logical area so see you in the next video thank you very much